starting to become, used to be like, they were 50, it went down 50%. Now they're going like they're in Stockton where they're going down, they're heading towards two thirds down. Six. Six. I mean, and that, that's just devastating. That's oh, just yeah. devastating to the economy. Oh yeah. And, and, and who knows? We ain't seen the bottom yet. Right. And as this spiral is more and more out of control, the bottom just becomes an endless abyss. <laughs> What's it going to get down to? Back like when I bought a house, back to 20000 and I bought my first house? <laughs> well, if the jobs aren't created, and that, that that appears to be the issue, they're not being created in the private sector, it's, uh, it's devastating. then that's going to that's gonna put the damper on everything. You know, I'm, I've been fighting, you know, to keep my credit good because I know if, if you know, to be able to do something, you got to have cash and you've got to have good credit. You know, I mean, I've managed to, to keep it good, you know. I mean, I've had to sell a lot of my old computer boards for the gold scrap, but, you know, that's what I struggle with. But I hate to sell the gold, you know, the gold-bearing stuff because we're going to get hyperinflation instead of getting... Instead of getting three dollars a pound, I'll get ten dollars a pound. So when yeah. I take a thousand dollars with a thousand pounds of boards in, I'll get ten thousand instead of three thousand. Mm. I've been trying to avoid that by selling this kind of stuff out here. But mm -hmm. This isn't selling, so I have to rely on it. Yeah. Make sure my bills are paid, my credit. Is paid. Yeah. Sure paid. See if you're totally dependent on a job, you're kind of an independent guy, though. You know, if you're totally if you're dependent on a job. Then... Yeah, but what you have today may not necessarily mean you're going to have it tomorrow. Absolutely, that's in today's job market, that's for sure. I mean, this thing is just sliding into the abyss. You know, there's just there's just too many trillions of dollars lost. That's the problem. Ten, twelve trillion or more is is gone. People's re in just people's retirement. Yeah. Just a retirement in the stock market. And if that stock market starts to go, which it probably will, then you're really looking at a lot of shit. Well, on the stock market, what I can't understand is the companies aren't making any money. How can it be going up? And something's screwy with speculators. it. You know? People speculators. People speculate. It's like Las Vegas is what I'm thinking. And, and yeah, that's exactly what it is. And didn't that happen? Wasn't that what happened before, right? Everybody was speculating. You know, they like hear all this Vegas, shit, they're right. trying to use psychology right. to trump stuff back up, and psychology only works so far. You know, I mean, then there comes a point where it's down to hard dollars. And then if the dollar starts to get screwed and drop, then it's, you know, then the only thing left is, is precious metals, gold. So you think it'll come to that, precious metals? What else is it going to go to? People get scared and they're losing their ass. What do they usually run to? Something tangible that they can hold. Gold and jewelry, I guess, but most of it's gone. Most of the people diamonds, diamonds, yeah. A lot most of the people have sold. Yeah, I used to get. Uh, 